Hello students, welcome back to my channel. I hope all of you are doing very well. This is another video on the chapter light of class 10 physics. If you have not watched my earlier videos on this chapter, please check the description box. I have shared the link to go back and watch them. In this video, we will discuss about concave and convex lens. In my last video, we have discussed about refraction of light. Uh, the phenomenon of refraction of light can be clearly seen in the working of a lens. So, where do you uh, see lens in, a, in your day daily life? Magnifying glass, cameras, spectacles, microscopes, telescopes, film projectors and many other optical instruments uses lens. A lens is a piece of transparent glass bound by two spherical surfaces. So in this chapter we will discuss mainly about two types of lenses, convex lens and concave lens. So here in the diagram you can see that convex lens is thick at the center but thinner at the edges. Whereas a concave lens is thin at the center and thicker at the edges. So students, in my teaching career, I have seen that most of the students get confused between the shape of spherical mirrors and spherical lenses. So I'll help you uh, to distinguish between the two. So by now I think you know, uh, you remember the shape of both the spherical mirrors. So first we will see convex mirror. So this is a convex mirror. A convex mirror has inner side painted with silver or paint or painted. Since lens is made up of two spherical surface, we will take two convex mirror. So here this is the outer side, bulging side is the reflecting surface. In the second mirror also the bulging side is the reflecting surface. Now what we will do? We will join both the mirrors and if we join what do we get? We get a convex lens. Now concave mirror, concave mirror see its outer side is painted or silver coated. Since lens is made up of two spherical surface we will take two concave mirror and we will join them both. What do we get? we get a concave lens. We know that refraction occurs when light travels from one medium to another. Now in this diagram we can see a convex lens. So light enters from air to the lens that is glass. So you can see the incident uh, ray bends at the points of incidence. Again, when the light ray travels from the lens, that is glass, to a uh, back to air, then again the medium changes and hence and again the light ray bends. So the light rays gets refracted twice when they pass through the lens. In a convex lens, light rays after refraction converge at a point that is the meet actually meet at a point so it is called a converging lens a concave lens is a diverging lens the light rays appear to diverge from a fixed point so you can see that all the light rays are diverging that is moving away from each other Now, um, when we look at a con convex lens from a front side, it looks like a piece of transparent round glass having a bulge in the middle. We can feel the bulge in the middle of the convex lens by touching it. Similarly, in case of a concave lens, when we look at it from the front side, it looks like a piece of transparent round glass having a depression in the middle. So here you can see that it, there is a depression in the middle. We can feel the depression in the middle of a concave lens by touching it. In this way, you can dist uh, distinguish between convex lens and concave lens uh, practically. 
let us now have a look at certain important terminologies used in the study of lens. So these terminologies are applicable to both convex and concave lens. So let me first draw any lens. Okay, I'll draw one convex lens. Please excuse my very dirty drawing. This uh, diagram looks somewhat uh, like a convex lens. Now center point of this lens is called optical center. It is denoted by the alphabet C. Sometimes it is denoted by the alphabet O. So remember that the center point of a lens is known as its optical center. So one point that you should remember that the optical center of a lens has a property that a ray of light passing through it does not suffer any deviation and goes straight out of it. So there will be no bending of light. Now principal axis. The principal axis is a line passing through the optical center of the lens and perpendicular to both the faces of the lens. So, this is your principal axis. This straight line is your principal axis. Here I have shared the definition of optical center and principal axis. Do pause the video and note them down. Principal focus of a convex lens. The principal focus of a convex lens is a point on its principal axis to which light rays parallel to the principal axis converge after passing through the lens. So here you can see that after refraction the rays they meet at a point f2 now what are these f1 and f2 they are the two foci of the lens so remember that in a lens it has two foci the word foci is the plural form of focus so the two foci of a lens are at equal distance from the optical center one on either side of the lens Principal focus of a concave lens. The principal focus of a concave lens is a point on its principal axis from which light rays originally parallel to the axis appear to diverge after passing through the concave lens. So here you can see that so the reflected rays they are diverging right. They are diverging and if you bring them backward, if you try to proceed uh, them backward, they meet at a point F1 that is which is the principal focus of the concave lens. So same like in uh, convex lens, concave lens also has two foci. A concave lens has a virtual focus because uh, actually the rays are not meeting, right? But in convex lens, what we have seen? We have seen that the light rays actually meet at a point. So, uh, convex lens has a real focus. Now, let us see certain practical applications of convex and concave lens. So, in the first diagram, you can see convex lenses are used in microscope, camera lens, projectors, magnifying glass, telescopes. So, in all these devices, what do you want? You want um, enlarged image of the object, right? So, this is due to the fact that when an object is within the focus of a convex lens, it produces an enlarged image and hence convex lenses are used in all these applications. Now uh, in concave lens it, uh, it produces a diminished image for all position of the object. 
So concave lenses are used in spy hole on doors, binoculars, etc.